Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast on this um, 47th episode. Uh, and it is uh, 427, uh, April 27, 2019 in San Antonio, Central Standard Time. 1041 right now, p.m. Uh, and I believe it's uh, nearly 4 uh, a.m. UTC. And we're going to get started on the squawk. Uh, we just did one. Um, this is actually the uh, UTC uh, 28th. So this is for the 28th, this, this podcast here. Uh, we just did one yesterday, and I didn't think I was going to come back and do one the day after. Uh, but that's how shit works out sometimes. I, I, I just I listened to it earlier today, and I really realized that there were some things that I didn't cover. So it's going to be a short episode. Um, I just did a pre-stream, and uh, I realized that there's really not much in the way of news. Uh, we didn't have a huge uh, buy-off, uh, in fact... Uh, Bitcoin is operating within uh, uh, it seems it seems that Bitcoin is operating within a, a, a very uh, specific uh, pattern right now and uh, it's pushing up against a, um, a support wall on a triangle I believe and so we're gonna take a look at that uh, here momentarily so uh, there's um, there's Coin360, and we got a checkered look at the market. Uh, the only things that are really up was uh, Basic Attention and ZRX. I think Tezos was up slightly earlier, but they came back down. And um, and so Coin360 is reporting a uh, Bitcoin market cap at uh, 91.2 billion uh, and 24 hour trade of volume around 8 million. I'm sorry, 8 billion. Uh, and so uh, that's where we're at right now. I haven't messed with this table functionality. Let's take a quick look at it. Yeah, so this is uh, basically like coin market cap, but through coin 360. Uh, I still like coin paprika better. So that's what we're going to do right now, guys. Uh, let's uh, blast through this this um, this squawk and then we'll uh briefly cover a couple of news topics that we went over yesterday and go into the technical analysis portion and be done with it and be done with you guys um not that i don't like you but you know we're just uh gonna try to get down to brass tacks tonight in and out so uh, coming in at 20th by market cap is uh, NAM XEM trading at uh, 5.9 cents. It's down 0.38 points on the day, down 0.8 points on the week. 24-hour trade of volume was 12 million. Hold on, let me switch it up right here. Give you guys a better look at what's going on here. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, coming in at 19th by market cap is Ontology ONT trading at 1,001. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. A dollar 14 with a lot of decimals behind it. Pardon. That's up 0.9 points on the day, up 8.39 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 70.8 million. Ethereum Classic ETC in at 18th by market cap, trading at 5 and 47. That's down 0.3 points on the day, down 0.1 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 353.8 million. NEO by the same symbol in at 17th, trading at 9 and 51. That's down 0.22 points on the day, up 1.91 points on the week, 24-hour trade volume, 203. Point three million. IOTA by the symbol MIOTA in its 16th by market cap, trading at 25 cents, down 1.72 points on the day, down 1.69 points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 7.9 million. Tezos XTZ in at 15th, trading at 1 in 21, down 0.41 points on the day, up 1.78 points on the week, and 24 hour trade volume was 6.1 million. Dash uh, by the same symbol in at 14th, trading at 109 and 65. Up 0.14 points on the day, up uh, just over half a point for the week, and 24-hour trade volume was 199.6 million. BSV, Bitcoin BSV, in at 13th by market cap, trading at 55 and 8, up 1.08 points on the day. A correction down 1.08 points on the day, but up 1.87 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 88 million. Uh, yeah, that's a tiny little number there. Uh, I don't like the way that Coin Paprika displays those numbers. It doesn't give me um, uh, uh, double zero decimals. Uh, that's not cool. You guys, you guys need to fix that. Uh, Monero coming in at 12th by market cap. XMR trading at 62 and 74. 
That's down uh, nearly a quarter of a point for the day and up 0.8 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume, 101. 0.1 million Tron in, in Adel I can never get this it's a tongue twister like a mother uh, Tron coming in at 11th by market cap that's TRX trading at 2.3 cents on the or yeah it's trading at 2.3 cents it's down 0.2 points on the day and down 0.15 points on the week 24 hour trade volume 461.3 mil Cardano uh, moving into the top 10 now guys Cardano ADA in at 10th, trading at 7 cents. That's down 0.08 points on the day, up 1.98 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 47.3 million. Stellar XLM in at 9th, trading at 10 cents. That's down 0.34 points on the day, up 0.2 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 107.7 mil. Uh, Tether USDT in at 8th, trading at 99 cents, down nearly a quarter of a point for the day, and up 0.01 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume, 7.6 billion. Uh, Binance Coin BNB in at 7th, trading at 22 and 55, up 0 0.06 points on the day, up 0 0.15 points on the week, 24-hour trade of volume, 247.8 million. Uh, Litecoin LTC in at 6th, trading at 71 and 63, down 0 0.3 points on the day, up, correction, up 0 0.3 points on the day, down 1.46 points on the week, and 24-hour trade of volume is 1.5 billion. EOS by the same symbol in at fifth, trading at four and seventy. That's down 0 0.12 points on the day, down 0 0.58 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume 1.2 billion. Bitcoin Cash BCH in at fourth, trading at 263 and 55. That's down 0 0.1 points on the day and up 0 0.03 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume 446.3 million. XRP by the same symbol in at third, trading at 29 cents. That's down 0 0.1 points on the day and down 0 0.72 points on the week. 24-hour trade volume 634.6. Million Ethereum ETH in its second, trading at 157 and 88, down 0 0.22 points on the day, and up 1.15 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume 4 billion. And lastly, of course, Bitcoin BTC in at first by market cap, uh, trading at 5,265 and 59 cents, down 0 0.17 points on the day, down 0 0.07 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 8.5 billion, and that uh, market cap guys now rests as we said earlier at 93 billion. And that's going to do it for a coin market cap readout through coin paprika let's move on to uh bigger and better things here uh, we're looking at crypto panic i i had a chance to go over this a little while ago and there's really not much going on in the way of uh of news um there's some interesting stories like on the uh on the on the recent feed but on the trending feed you know it's a lot of the stuff that we talked about yesterday um one thing that was mentioned was uh, i guess somebody's keeping count about uh how much v chain is being burnt uh uh nine hours ago from ccn.com is probably shortly after we got done with the um with the stream bernie sanders says economic policy would send population i'm sorry this is not a quote from bernie sanders but this is ccn saying that bernie sanders economic policy would send population buying bitcoin now I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. You know, it could say that Bernie Sanders is going to drive everybody into a safe haven flow, which may be true for Republicans. But, you know, Bernie Sanders may end up being a champion for cryptocurrency and telling all his uh, liberal uh, cohorts uh, and socialist cohorts to go buy Bitcoin because uh, there is some political crossover there, guys. I, I think that. Uh, socialists who really know how the technology work are probably actually very pro cryptocurrency. At least the um, the uh, paleo liberals amongst them who don't realize uh, they haven't found themselves yet. Um, but I digress. Uh, some news about BMW that didn't really pique my interest. Uh, a day ago, uh, we talked about this yesterday as well. Uh, e Trade is uh, reported, reportedly going to start allowing uh, the trading of Bitcoin and Ethereum on their exchange. And I talked about this at length. If you want to go back and listen to episode 46, uh, there's some good stuff there. Uh, IOTA, they, some, some, some talk from Crypto Globe and two other sources about IOTA la launching the IOTA Academy. Uh, more there if you want to go check it out and of course we talked about how uh, Bitfinex may have covered uh, an 850 million dollar loss using tether funds uh, that's according to uh, an alleged from New York prosecutors 
So that's what's going on in the news, guys. Uh, maybe, maybe that may have cleared up some like uh, cursory uh, conversation that we had about some of those things yesterday. I uh, hope it did. If not, hit me up on Twitter. I'll, I'll talk to you about it. So um, I mentioned yesterday that we were going to uh, be making our transition uh, f- at least uh, in the interim from uh, coin m- market cap, or I'm sorry, not coin market cap, uh, Coinbase to Bitfinex in terms of uh, analysis. We will go back to Coinbase to do some analysis from time to time. Uh, but I explained why we're going to be doing this again in episode 46. So if you really want to uh, look into it, episode 47, I think, is going to end up being more of like an addendum to. Uh, to 46 so as we can see here let's get down to brass tacks as we can see here we're kind of in this like uh, upward trend channel uh sitting on top of this pitchfork that kind of guided us uh through the last couple of months and uh and i i placed a projection uh drawing here uh right around the session change um at the end of uh, Tomorrow, actually, on the 30th. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's late here, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so there's a, a projection. It may not run all the way to the 30th, to session break on the 30th, but um, it could happen at any point in time. We are pushing up against uh, a sort of like a triangular formation right now. Uh, and so I'm expecting at least over the next eight to 10 hours, uh, for price to drop uh, in a bull in a bearish manner or at least drift in a bearish manner Uh, if we get uh, any kind of four hour close or one or two hourly closes uh, above this trend channel right here it's like a 60 45 to 60 degree down slope right around 5440 and so um, so we're kind of in a down slope there uh, and I think that we'll probably follow that unless, of course, we break out above that level. So we'll wait and see. But stochastics are approaching uh, over uh, bot territory. So I think that um, uh, that paired with uh, the formation, um, we may be uh, moving down at least interimly over the next day or two. And so this is a better look of, uh, of that upward trend channel. Let's take a look at it with candles just to give us a little bit more uh, perspective. And so um, I didn't have to be exclusive uh, because the closing prices were there. Uh, it, it allowed us to operate. And so that's where we are at right now, guys. Uh, again, I think we're going to travel downwards a little bit over the next day or two. Uh, but there's definitely a point coming up where we may break out. If not to the up. Then definitely to the down, but I, I think I think we may uh, come back up here and test this line of uh, resistance right here around 57.30. I think we might make it there, guys. So we'll have to see. Worst case scenario, we drop down uh, into the 4900s again and hang out there for a week or so. But we'll see how things go. Uh, but this is it. This is Bitfinex. This is the um, pitchfork. Uh, down here um, below uh, 5250 uh, there's a pitchfork trend uh, outline that we have been operating in for a while and only the last couple of weeks we've been up here and this we've been upstairs the last couple of weeks so we'll see how this plays out continue to monitor the markets nothing that you heard on uh, this YouTube channel is financial advice as always and I I'm going to get out of here, guys. So have a great day trading uh, if you're going to be trading. Otherwise, hit me up on uh, YouTube. You can hear the podcast on Spotify, uh, Anchor, Radio Public, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Still working on the iOS thing. It's in the pipeline. We'll be on iOS soon. Uh, and um, and that's about it, guys. Uh, if you want to support Block Squawk, head on over to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and hit the support this podcast button. That would help immensely in the longevity uh, and sustained growth of the Block Squat podcast. 
and uh, we're gonna be hitting it hard through the through the uh, bull market. We were here for the bear market. We're gonna be there for the bull market, kicking ass and uh, and taking names, learning all that we can, making mistakes, documenting them, so on and so forth, etc., 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 etc. So uh, hit me up. You got any questions? You want to come on the podcast? Whatever you want. It's all it's all about you. So uh, that's it. I'm out. Peace.